Hello everyone and welcome to Transformation Tuesday Season 2 Episode 4, How to Discover Your Real Purpose. While I wait for a few of you guys to jump on, I'm just going to give a bit of a background for those that are watching the replay. This has been something that's really important for a lot of people. What's your life purpose? What's your business purpose? What's the reason why you're here? This is a pretty incredible topic and one that I'm incredibly passionate about. And I've, I've coached a lot of people around this topic, so I'm really, really excited to be presenting it to you tonight. So if you can relate on some level to either having being stuck around why you're here in life, what's your purpose, what is it that you're here to do, then you're in luck because I'm going to be diving deep into unpacking some really key principles around, well, how do we discover our purpose if you don't know what it is? And if you do know what it is, how do we live it to an even greater degree? How do we live it more authentically? How do we live it more powerfully? Hey, Dora, how you doing? Good to see you here. So we're going to be exploring purpose and we're exploring the not just the why it's important and what it is, but actually physically, how do we actually tap into it to a greater degree? So what is the process that we go through to deepen our sense of purpose? What are the questions we need to ask ourselves? Hey, Dora. Hey, Angela. So what are the questions? What's the process? There is actually a process for getting clearer on your life's purpose. And it's, in hindsight, for me now, it's kind of simple. I look back on it and go, well, yeah, here's the process. So what I've done is I've turned purpose into a process and I'm gonna be guiding you through how to actually do that tonight. So let's let's jump in and as you guys, if you guys have questions as we go, please, as always, drop a, drop a question and I'll do my best to answer it. So this is something that comes up with most of the clients that I coach, and this is something that's a common challenge for most people across all areas of life. And so what are we even talking about here? Well, we're talking about life purpose. Well, before we even get started, what is, what are we, what is life purpose? Blah, what is that thing? Well, our life purpose is the reason why we're here. It is, what's our big why? What's our reason for being? And I'll go into more detail about exactly what the purpose is, what our purpose actually is. But I'll start with saying, why do we even, why are we even having this conversation in the first place? And the reason why we're having this whole conversation is because without a solid, confident, inspired life purpose, it becomes very, very difficult to wake up in the morning feeling inspired, feeling alive, alive, feeling like we're actually got a reason why we're here. So look at the contrast. When you have a purpose, as opposed to not having a purpose, it doesn't matter whether you've got, doesn't matter what you're looking at in your life. If you're doing something in life and you don't have a purpose, there's no motivation, there's no drive, there's no hunger, there's no inspiration. So, by having a purpose, there's a you tap into the life force, the essence of who and what you truly are at the deepest possible level. So that's why purpose is important. And if you haven't tapped into your purpose, or if you've only accessed a, a little bit of it, or if you still haven't got quite full clarity on what that is, then that's okay. I'm gonna be sharing some insights as to how you can deepen that. Hey Sally, hey Joy, you're welcome Angela. So why else is purpose important? Well, it provides a reason for you to wake up every day, to bounce out of bed, knowing that there's something greater than, than just the minutiae, just the day-to-day run-of-the-mill occurrences of life. When we tap into, hey Mike, good to see you here. When we tap into life purpose, we get access to an extra gear. You know, it's the same thing as if you're driving around a car and with, it's like, it's like when you have a purpose, it's like fitting your car with a turbocharger and a performance chip and getting an extra couple of gears in your car so you can floor it down the freeway even faster. That's, that's what a purpose gives you. It gives you access to more horsepower, to more inspiration, to more, to something greater than, than, we've, than we have without our purpose. So powerful to know. So the benefits of having a purpose as I said, inspiration, motivation, they help us get, th- get through the challenging days where things get tough. It's a driving force that will help us overcome and overpower any obstacle that comes in our way because we have a reason why, right? So, and as you probably heard from many, many different thought leaders, they often talk about when you have a big enough why, you can overcome any how. And so I don't know if it was I don't know if it was Socrates that said that. One of, one of these guys was pretty switched on, pretty clued in, they're, they're right. When you have a big enough why, you'll figure out any how. Well, that's the same with life. When you've got a big enough why in your life, you will overcome any of the challenges and the obstacles and you will step up and you will rise to the occasion. You will step into becoming your best version of you. Thanks for joining us, Mike. 
Good to have you, brother. Hey, Haley, good to have you here too. So as you're jumping on, guys, give us a shout out. Let us know if you've discovered your life's purpose, where you're at with purpose. I'd love to know. Is this something that you've inquired on? Is it something that you've discovered, that you've uncovered? Is it something that has been on your mind for a while? Is it something that interests you? Is it something that you've succeeded at, failed at? Just let, let, let me know where you're at with purpose. Is it something you've experimented with? Because certainly for me, for the, probably the first 10 years of my life, I was always asking the question, what am I here for? What, what's the purpose of this whole experience? And then I started asking the right questions, which is what I'm gonna give you at the end of this broadcast is the questions to tap into that activate the parts of your being, the parts of your brain, the parts of your heart that starts to go a level deeper, that starts to give you that insight. And it's, a, it's actually a process that you can go through, which I'm really excited to share with you. So, so now we're starting to create awareness around, okay, we've got a, got a sense that this purpose thing is pretty important. It gives us access to something far deeper and something far grander than just the surface level existence because you, know, you could just say, well, the purpose of my life is just to exist. Or you could go another level. You could go many, many levels. And I'm going to give you some examples of what my purpose is, some examples of purpose statements, some examples of, of what we're really talking about. Now, the thing about purpose is it's our reason for being. It is our why. It is our inspiration. It's the reason why you're alive. It's the essence and the philosophy for how you want to live your life. It's your philosophy for living. It's your signature expression. It's the theme of what is it that you're here to experience. It's the overall, it's the overarching theme, the flavor, the DNA of your experience. It's what you are here to do. And everyone has a purpose. Even if you don't know what your purpose is, or even if you don't believe you have a purpose, you still have a purpose. Every single one has a purpose. And it's really, really special when you tap into it. So What's really important to know, which I wish I knew a long, long time ago, was I actually used to think that purpose was when I found my purpose, it would be a job. It would be a career, it would be a business. Well, the thing about purpose is it's not actually a job or a purpose or a relationship. Your purpose is a beingness. It's your way of being. So I wanna give you some examples. For me as a coach, coaching is it's the love of my life. It's what, I've, it's what I'm born to do. Coaching and training and facilitating and helping people move beyond their limitations and expand into the greatest version of themselves. This is a role, it's a vehicle. So I'm in a business, I run a coaching business and I help people expand, I help them move beyond their limitations. That's a vehicle. Now this vehicle is simply what I'm experiencing in the moment, which allows me to tap into and express and experience my purpose. So the job is not the purpose, it's what the job gives you access to. It's what the job brings out in you, in your beingness. So that's the key distinction there, because a lot of people think that they're looking for their life's purpose, which is a job or a career or a business. Now, yes, you wanna find a job, a career or a business or your life's work that lets you be the expression of your purpose. I highly recommend that, and I think that our life's work is got a huge part to play in us, letting us express our purpose. But don't misunderstand your job being your purpose. They are different. Your job is a vehicle that lets you be the avenue to express the purpose. And I'll give you some examples. For me, my job is simply a vehicle that allows me to experience my purpose. And I'll, I'll give you guys uh, what my purpose is in a moment. But I could be in multiple numbers of vehicles. I could be a teacher. I could be a trainer. I could, I could run podcasts. I could do probably, I could do all sorts of uh, run retreats, I could do like a thousand, I could write books, I could do, I could be on TV, I could be a public speaker, I could be a presenter, I could do a lot of different things. Those are just vehicles that would all allow me to express the same thing I'm expressing to you now, which is the essence of my being. So I could express this through a book, through public speaking, on TV, through any different avenue, these are just vehicles, through me being allowed to be myself, my authentic expression. Hey, I got your comment there, thanks Mike. Uh, here we go, we've got, we've got a comment, we've got a, we've got a purpose there to bring and make love and magic in my life and every experience I have and have connection with my, I can't read the rest of it, but that's, I love the sound of it, Mike. You've got love in there as well, which is part, in, part of my purpose as well, which I'm gonna share with you. Good evening, Rod. Uh, so where do we get to? So yeah, so we're talking about 
your purpose doesn't necessarily have to be the vehicle. In fact, it's not the vehicle itself. Your purpose is the beingness behind the vehicle. Your purpose is the beingness that gets expressed behind that. So my purpose is to be connected and aligned to my spirit. So to be the authentic expression of who and what I truly am at my core. So my purpose in life is to be authentic. It's to be the true expression, the signature of me. That's my purpose. Now to go a little deeper, my purpose is also to be the expression of love. It's to be the expression of love. So being of love is not just doing of love, but it's the expression of love. It's the feeling of love. It's the embodiment of love. It's the expression of love, the doing of love, and the contribution of love. So that's a core purpose for me. Now that's just, that's what I've tapped into. And I'm gonna expl explain a little bit more about love because I think there's a, a very, very special thing about love, which is unique to every single person, which I think is, it's gonna be common to a lot of you. And tell me if you can resonate, if love is something that's gonna be at the core of your purpose, something that resonates with you pretty deeply. Um, but for me, love is the foundation. It's the, it's the base frequency that exists in this reality. So when we're tapping into love, we are actually harmonizing with this reality. So I think having a purpose to be the expression of love amongst many different purposes is really, really powerful. So I'm gonna cover some myths around purpose, some misconceptions, some myth truths, and some incorrect assumptions around purpose that I think will help as well. But ultimately, it's really the beingness that's behind every one of your actions. So it doesn't matter whether you wake up first thing in the morning, whether you're going to work, whether you're out at the shops, whether you're talking to your partner, your purpose is flowing through you, right? You are the expression of your purpose in all the different situations, in all aspects, in all avenues. So it's not just, oh, you only live your purpose on Saturdays, or you only live your purpose when you go to your day job. It's you are, your, you are the beingness of your purpose full time. You are the embodiment of what you are here to experience. So that's the key thing about purpose. So your purpose is the theme of your life. It's your signature expression, and everyone has a purpose. Now, I wanna share with you some of the myths about purpose to give you some of the go-wrongs, some of the misunderstandings, because I had a lot of misunderstandings. First of all, the first myth is that you don't just have one purpose, you have many purposes, and your purpose is going to change over time, I guarantee it. Mine has changed many, many times, and that's perfectly fine. Your purpose will evolve as you evolve. As your awareness, as your skill, as your knowledge, as your experience, as everything unfolds inside of you, your awareness and your consciousness evolves, so too, will the awareness of your purpose, and that's totally fine. In fact, I encourage you, if you do have currently have purpose statements, review them regularly, read them out every day, be the embodiment of your purpose until it gets to the point where you are, you, you know it so well, you know it like the back of your hand, and it is so ingrained and so embodied within you that it just becomes a normal way of being. From the moment you wake to the moment you go to sleep, you are aware of your purpose. So I'm going to, as I said, I'm gonna give you some questions to elicit your purpose, to help you deepen your sense of what your purpose is. But the first thing we really need to understand is that you have more than one purpose and it will evolve over time. And the next part is your purpose doesn't just randomly appear. So if you're waiting to just read a book or do a seminar or, uh, or just randomly, if you're just randomly hoping that the piano of purpose is gonna fall out of the sky in your lap just randomly one day, well, in my experience, it's not gonna happen that way. It evolves, it reveals itself. Now when you, do the, when you go on this internal journey of self-reflection, of doing the work, of contemplation, of reflection, the purpose reveals itself. And it reveals itself through the pursuit of truth. So you've gotta really consciously inquire within and go, well, who and what am I? What, and this is the key question, N know thyself. Okay? Aristotle said it beautifully, he said, know thyself. So we've really got to get conscious about asking the questions around who are we, what are we about, what are we here for? And it's through the, con the, the continuous asking of these themes of questions that this concept of purpose gets revealed. This purpose also gets revealed through the mastery of self. So the, the better you get at life, the better you get at relationships, at emotion, at emotions, at experience, at business, at everything, it's a skill set that evolves and enhances your ability to also be empowered to, in, to make a deeper level of inquiry. So be aware that mastering all areas of life is another way of accessing a deeper level of purpose. So your purpose won't just randomly, typically is not gonna just randomly appear. It might, 
but you don't want to count on it, I recommend that you inquire and you make, if you don't know what your purpose is, put it on your agenda to discover what your purpose is. Put it on your agenda to inquire. And if it's really important to you, which I suggest discovering what your purpose is should be quite important, then you've got to really reevaluate and say, well, why has this not been a priority? Now, on Amazon, at la last time I checked it, there was only about over 150,000 books on Amazon to do with the topic of life purpose. So there's no shortage of information on the topic. Right now, again, if you wanted more information, please send me a, drop me a message, send me an email, I'm happy to answer your questions. But please, we need to take responsibility for uncovering, discovering, living, embodying, actualizing our purpose. Because if we don't have a purpose, then it's like you know we've got a hotted up Ferrari ready to drive down the freeway, but it's got no engine. So here's the thing, we need to tap into that purpose and when we get, we get that horsepower, we get that motivation, inspiration. So to discover your purpose, it requires introspection. It requires asking specific questions. It requires expanding your awareness in specific areas. And I'm gonna give you some of the areas that I believe are really core to really uncovering our purpose. So with our purpose, there's some key themes. Our purpose, it needs to be a, have a key theme for our life. It needs to allow us to express our authentic self. Our purpose needs to acknowledge that our life is truly important, that we are here to share something really, really specific and something really, really important. So it's valuing self and it's valuing that we have a part to play, a very, very important part to play. And typically a, a part to play that's grander and much bigger and much more important than we have awareness of right now. Our purpose ideally needs to include love, an element of the expression of love, because love is the base frequency that exists in this reality. Imagine if there, imagine in this matrix that we're, that we're walking around in, every square centimeter of, of space, all the energy, imagine everything floating through this reality, it's actually ultimately vibrating at the frequency of love. Now, if we are not also vibrating at the frequency of love, then well, what do we observe? We observe conflict, we observe lack, we observe scarcity, we observe problems. So it's only when we are not being the expression of love do we observe problems. Because love is compassion, love is forgiveness, love is acceptance, love is strength in self, love is courage. Love embodies all those attributes that is required to overcome suffering and to overcome adversity and to view this reality as the divine matrix that it is, which is the ultimate playground, the greatest love story ever told. So if we are not on the same frequency of love, which is just the, the lenses that we're viewing our reality through at the moment, if we're not viewing our reality through the lens of love, then we're gonna experience suffering. So I think because the base frequency of this reality is love, that's got a, that's got a key, that's got a play, love plays a key, key part to this whole experience of purpose. You also wanna look at what's your gift. And when I say your gift, what I mean by gift is what's been given to you to express. It might be a skill, a talent, an ability, some sort of unique contribution that only you can give to the world. And when I say only you can give to the world, only you can give to the world in the way that they need it. Like the world has, as we know, the world has a lot of problems. It's got a lot of challenges. But for every challenge, there's a solution. And that's why there's, out of the seven billion people that exists in this world, every single one of us has a part to play. And you do as well. And so it's simply tapping into, what is your gift? What has been given for you to share with the world? And when you tap into your purpose, what you start to find is, it resonates so deeply with you that you give that gift, not because you have to give it, but because you want to give it. So that's the key thing about purpose, is that you give it, unconditionally because it's, it's in so much resonance with who and what you are at your core that it's just a natural, unconditional giving of self. So that's what true purpose is. So you're welcome, Angela. So truth also plays a big part in this. The pursuit of truth will reveal your purpose. The pursuit of being, the pursuit of radical honesty, the pursuit of truly looking inward and, and acknowledging all the darkness, all the parts of ourselves that we don't particularly resonate with, and doing the work to move beyond our limitations is also required to live our purpose. Because if we're striving to be the best version of ourselves, wouldn't you agree, and tell me if you agree, it's 
probably going to be mandatory and it's probably going to be required that we do the work, that we've got to overcome all of our fears, our limitations, our restrictions, our limiting beliefs, our bad habits. If we want to step into living our life's purpose, we can't approach life with complacency or a degree of mediocrity. We've got to actually be serious about growth and expansion and saying, right, if I want to tap into this to the greatest degree, now there's degrees of accessing your purpose, there's degrees of embodying your purpose, there's also degrees of alignment with your true self. So if you want to access the highest degree of alignment and connection and embodiment of your life's purpose, we've got to do the work. We've got to be willing to upgrade ourselves. We've got to be willing to make some, we've got to be willing to, to tune the engine to get the maximum horsepower out of this thing, out of this machine. So there's, there's no shortcutting. If we're wanting to truly live our purpose to a highest degree, what comes with that is growth. So this is the other key theme, is our purpose has to revolve around growing and expanding. And as Abraham Maslow coined the term self-actualization. So I believe another part of, well, at least my purpose, is to strive towards being the most authentic, the greatest, the most empowered version of myself. And that is a journey of growth. That's a conscious journey of growth. Thanks, Mike. It's, a, it's, it's approaching our, gro our growth from a, a perspective of conscious, deliberate, planned expansion and radical honesty, evaluating all parts of life, willingness to have the courage to grow and expand and to learn everything that we need to know about ourselves. So with this journey of purpose, you can see there's a lot of other components that are attached. If we're wanting to tap into the highest, the most aligned, the most resonant version of purpose, then there's work to be done. And for us to not acknowledge that, I think is delusional. And I, I mean that with, with, with love, it's delusional. Because if we are not willing to do the work, how can we possibly live the highest, most aligned perspective, uh, most in the greatest degree of alignment? Our purpose also needs to inspire us. So your purpose has to inspire. And when I say inspire, inspire, I believe it comes from the Latin phrase, which means from within, in spirit. So inspire means to be inspired, to be motivated from within, as opposed to motivated by external means. Inspired is the force or the driving force is coming from internally. It's coming from the spirit. So it's an internal outwards expression. So that inspiration is, is, is key as well because you've got to do what inspires you, what makes you come alive, what makes you lose track of time, these types of things. So I'm going to give you some of the specific questions around how to actually tap into this for yourself and to explore these particular areas and, and light these different areas up through thinking. But really it comes back to your signature expression. It's your signature expression. What is the expression? What is the vibration? What is the frequency of your spirit? What is that here to be, do, have, give, experience? What are you truly here to experience from a a signature frequency perspective. We all have a particular frequency that we're here to experience. And that frequency is like, it's like a self-guiding mechanism. So when we're connected to this, when we're connected to our heart, when we're tapped into our purpose, when we're tapped into our higher self, our spirit, not only do we get access to our purpose, but we get access to guidance, to intuition, to pure insight, to far more than this computer upstairs could ever come up with. So accessing this heart space and this deeper connection through our heart and through our connection with our higher self, that's where the magic happens. And that, yes, that's a skill, that's a process, that's a journey to get there. It certainly has been a journey for me to get there and I'm, st I'm still on that journey of evolving and upgrading that connection as well. So that's a whole other part of this as well is connecting to self to get access, get the download from within to what are we truly here to experience. So again, I'm just gonna do a mini recap. Love is a key theme. Expressing your gift to others, which is all around service, which is around making a difference, contribution. And I really love this because doesn't, tell me if this, this makes sense. This, this really does make sense. Wouldn't it make sense that our, everyone's purpose in life would be something around giving, something around making a difference, something around contribution? Because the thing about contribution and gifts and giving your gift is, out of all the options, in the menu of life. Giving your gift, i.e. making a contribution to someone else and serving, there's no higher fulfillment, there's no greater joy or bliss that exists in this world 
than to make a contribution in a way that's authentic to you, that's your unique expression, that's your gift, that's coming from a place of love, that's aligned with your skill, your talent, your passion. So when all these things, all these things align, all these pieces of the jigsaw puzzle come together, we can be that expression. And we are giving a gift unconditionally to the world. That's the ultimate recipe for the most amazing, greatest love story ever told, which is our purpose. So service to others, I think that's gotta be a key ingredient. I'm giving you the ingredients here so you can start to see all the ingredients coming together. And you'll piece all these together and you'll have your own unique purpose. It's gotta be authentic to you. When I say authentic, it means authentic to your spirit, not your ego. Your ego will be the voice in your head that's telling that you can't do it and you're not good enough and it'll never happen, that sort of thing. That's not the voice you wanna listen to. You wanna listen to the other voice in here which sometimes gets drowned out by this voice, but you want to tap into the voice inside of you that's actually saying, yeah, what are you truly here to do? We're also here to grow and expand. I believe the evolution of our consciousness is a key reason why every single one of us is here. Now we might not necessarily all tap into that, but it's a key, it's a core component of this reality. The whole purpose of this reality is for consciousness to rise. Consciousness has been rising in this reality for a long, long time, and that's a core theme of it. So I would suggest that an element of growth, expansion, and self-actualization, upgrading your consciousness is also a key part of your purpose. The pursuit of truth, the truth of what is real, what is true, and even that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother Facebook lot, that's a whole nother conversation. So your truth is gonna be unique to you, but the pursuit of that truth requires courage. It requires becoming your best self. And then the whole purpose of this is for you to be empowered to be the sovereign expression of your true self. So empowerment is being without limitation. It's being able to be fully self-expressed of your sovereign self. So sovereign meaning you are your own entity. You have your own, no one can control you. You are a sovereign being. You have the right to live your life however you like. You have the right to express who and what you truly are. So you wanna be empowered to be the sovereign expression of your, of your spirit. That's, I think that's another key theme is empowerment. It's empowerment to move beyond their limitations, to transform those limitations, to move beyond them, to expand beyond them, to transform all the internal limitations so that we can overcome the external limitations. And as we know, our external reality is simply a mirror reflection of our internal reality. Your thoughts, your emotions, your belief systems, your attitudes, everything that's going on inside this machine that we call this, this, this human being, everything that's going on inside us is generating our external results. So if we don't like our external results, we've got to update the software, update the beingness of everything inside us. Thanks, Rod. Yeah, I like that, Angela. The fingerprint, signature. It's our unique one in seven billion expression. So that's what this is about. So really, I'm gonna give you, a, I'm gonna give you some strategies for discovering your purpose, or if you already have an idea of what it is, how to deepen your understanding of your purpose. So. As I said, it requires conscious reflection. This isn't just a, uh, have to ask, do this once, do this once on a Saturday morning and then you're done for life. This is a regular thing. <laughs> this is ongoing. This is regular contemplation. I'm thinking about my purpose every day. I'm constantly refining it, deepening it, expanding it, challenging it, talking to other people, what's your purpose, what's your purpose, seeing if I can upgrade it, is it the most authentic version of me? So this is an ongoing journey. And here are some strategies of how to come to your own awareness about what it might be for you. So I've given you a lot of themes and ideas around the ingredients that are gonna to come together and infuse in your purpose. And now is some more questions and processes that will help it all come together in a, in a bit more of an elegant approach. So the first step is, you can start with, and this is, step, this is the first exercise, exercise one is you start with a blank piece of paper or maybe multiple blank pieces of paper and at the top of the paper, you say, ask the question, what is my true purpose? The question is, what is my true purpose at the top of the page? Now what you do is, you block out your calendar, you give yourself maybe an hour or two, maybe longer, nice quiet space, maybe by the beach, maybe in a rainforest, somewhere where you're nice, peace and quiet, maybe nice music, and you empty everything out of your consciousness onto the page around what are you here to do? What are you here to be? What's the reason why you're here? And when I first started doing this, I started having some fairly simple answers like, my purpose is to be happy. Then I upgraded and I said, well, my purpose is to be happy 
and to be loving and to be a good person. And then I said, well, I reckon I can make it even better. So you'll now take revision one, then you revise it, revision two, revision three, and you'll keep revising it maybe a hundred times until you eventually land on something that truly resonates. So the thing about your purpose statement that you're writing is it might start with a couple of words, it might evolve into a sentence, it might turn into a paragraph, it might even turn into a book. There's no right or wrong, there's no black and white around this. It's simply your opportunity to start expressing who and what you truly are until you get to the point where you feel like it resonates. And the thing about words, because we're dealing with words here, words is the representation of the energy behind your purpose. Words are like pointers. Words simply point to energy. So the words are a representation of what is the energetic representation of your beingness that is your purpose. Right? So for example, if I get you think of the word cat, that will evoke a certain energy within you. Some of you might like cats, some of you might not like cats. If I say the word dog, some of you might like dogs, not like dogs. That word evokes an energy within you. Well, it's the same thing with words like inspiration, awakening, love. These, are, these words are energetic pointers that will help you tap into and feel, this is a feeling process, feel into what is your purpose. So that's the process to go through. And with that blank, blank page exercise, it might take you 50, 100, 200 goes. It might take you, who knows, it might take you a lot longer than that before you finally arrive at an answer where it feels congruent, where it feels like it lights you up, where you feel inspired, it makes you come alive. Ideally, you get to the point at the end of that process where you feel such a strong resonance with the statement that you've written, with that purpose statement, that it brings you to tears of joy and gratitude and bliss that, that you would get to experience that purpose. This is the idea of it. You want to tap into something that's so intense, something so profound, that it just completely lights you up and you, when you think about it, it just evokes the most powerful energy inside of you. So that's what I recommend that you explore. And for me, the first time I, as I said, the first time I did it, I, I didn't come up with much. It took me a long time to get down to something that was really meaningful. So have patience, be willing to explore with it, ex experiment with it, test it out. It's gonna take time. So, and recognize that those words that you're using they evoke images, they evoke emotions, they evoke meaning, they evoke something deeper within you. So find the words that resonate with you. Find those words and then combine them in the most beautiful tapestry that is a sentence, a paragraph, and as I said, maybe even a, a page of what is your purpose? What is the expression of who and what you are? Some extra questions are gonna help you on this journey. Uh, what are you here to experience? What are you here to experience? What's the reason why you've come to this planet? Now, your spirit, it's, it's, it's come into your body. You've chosen to have a human experience. What's the reason why you're here? You have, you've chosen to come into this particular experience. You have a particular set of parents. You, have, you live in a particular country. You've had a particular set of experiences. There's some common themes that have been unfolding for your greatness, happening for you, not happening to you, what are those themes? What areas resonate so deeply with you that you might be doing something and you lose track of time? Now you guys have probably experienced that where you're doing something and you're just so engrossed and so loving it. You might have spent a half day or a full day doing something and you're like, wow, where did the time go? There's some clues, major clues. These are the clues to pay attention to. So these clues are really important. I ignored these clues for a large part of my life. I ignored a lot of these clues. But the clues are that your purpose is going to inspire you, it's going to make you feel alive, it's going to give you meaning, the things that feel like they're aligned with you, you, you have the most incredible intense feelings. These are, the, these are the clues you've got to watch out for. And life will give you these clues, life will give you the signposts. However, if you're not paying attention, sometimes we might miss them. So all the experiences of your life have been colluding in your favour to guide you to uncover and experience and explore and discover this purpose. However, we've got to be on the lookout. We've got, to, we've got to keep it on the dashboard of our mind and set this as an agenda to explore uncovering what is our purpose. So the last, I'll give, you, I'll give you a list of questions and I'll also put the questions up so you guys can actually download this as a worksheet as well. But, but definitely ask yourself these questions because these are really, really powerful. What do you enjoy the most? 
Because all these questions are going to feed into all the pieces of the jigsaw puzzle. What do you enjoy the most? Out of all the things on the menu of life, what do you enjoy the most? That's a key one. What are the themes around your natural gifts that you've got? Right? What are the skills? What are the talents? What are the abilities? Maybe you're a singer. Right? Maybe you're really good at communication. Maybe you're really good at music. Maybe you're really good at, with children. Pay attention to where the skills and the talents lie and test the resonance. See what resonates with you. Maybe you're really good with animals. Whatever it is, you've got really got to take a deeper look and explore. These themes have been present in your environment since the moment you were born. And they've been, they're, they're there in your environment so you can assess whether you resonate with them. And if you resonate, if you truly get joy and fulfillment from that, explore it even further. Go deeper. Maybe take further trainings. Maybe immerse yourself. Learn more about it. That's one of the next questions is, what do you love learning about? There's a, there's, a, there's a key clue here. The things that you love to learn about are also going to be aligned with your purpose, with the elements of skill and knowledge and experience. So what are you really, really good at? What are you extraordinarily good at? What are the things that you can do better than probably 95% of the rest of the population? What are those things that just come so naturally to you? Now, the thing about this as well is, I want to, I want to give you the distinction here that Purpose isn't necessarily, as I said, a job. However, I just want to share with you my own story because I think this is going to be really empowering. When I first discovered coaching, I didn't know what my purpose was. All I knew that I was drawn to personal development. I knew that I loved learning. I knew that I loved expanding. I knew I loved consciousness. I loved philosophy. I loved talking about spirituality. I was just drawn to those kinds of themes. I had no idea that I could actually do this as a living, to actually help people expand beyond their limitations and help them live their dreams. So it was only until I enrolled in my study when I had a few aha moments and I thought, oh wow, I can actually get paid to do what I love. Oh, wow. And then from that moment, that was one of the catalysts for them going deeper, learning more, more expansion. And then down the rabbit hole I go, Lots more training courses, lots more, lots more, lots more. And then it all involves, it all like a big snowball, it, just a big snowball effect from there. So I didn't know at that moment in time that, that what my purpose was or what career I should be doing. All I knew was at this moment, I resonate with that and I'm gonna take one step in the right direction. So that's where it's really important. I'm glad, Rod, I'm glad that you've got some clarity out of that, mate. So you don't have to know your full purpose or you don't have to know every single step of the way. All you need to know is what's the step right now that you want to take that's going to move you in the direction or create a degree of alignment with where you need to be going. That's all you need to know right now. You don't need to know the final destination. I don't think we can ever know the final destination because we can never predict everything in our life. So there's no point wanting to predict everything and need to know everything completely. That's our ego doing its job, wanting to know everything and needing to know everything in advance when it couldn't possibly, couldn't possibly ever know everything. So you just need to know what's the next step. And are you in alignment with your authentic expression? That's all you need to know. So, also, what would you do if you didn't need money? That's another great question that helps you tap into the energy of, well, what is that way of being? What would you do if you didn't need money? Because again, that's a, that's a big clue about what it is you're here to do. What do you love learning about? What makes your heart sing? What excites you? What inspires you? What makes you feel alive? What makes you lose track of time? Also, what kind of legacy do you want to live? That's another powerful question. When you get to the end, not from the point of view of you know, people judging us or our ego doing its job, we want to say authentically, when I get to the end of my life, what do I want to have experienced, expressed and accomplished so that I know I lived, so that I know I lived an authentic experience? Hey Marcel, when I get to the end of my life, what do I want to have expressed so that I know that I was authentic to who and what I was? What do I, now, this is the thing, and we've got to be careful not to buy into too much ego here. Because if we're now asking, well, what are other people going to say about us? What we can do is we can outsource our sovereignty to the opinion of others. So we need to worry less about what others are going to say about us, and what are we going to say about ourselves? When we're looking down, imagining you're looking down at your funeral, what do you want to say about yourself? Rather than what do you want other people to say about you, what would you like to have said about your life? And I think that's a better approach. So. What makes you feel truly alive? And what is the ultimate reason why you're here? So, there's some powerful questions. Guys, I'm gonna be dropping in a link. So if you guys actually wanna get the worksheet, 
for how to discover your purpose. I'll have this all in a nice worksheet and just send me a message and I can send you a copy. Please let me know if you'd like that. Just drop a comment in below and I'll send you a copy when we get it produced. And it's a really elegant, hey Andrew, good to see you here. And hey Jacqueline, good to see you as well. So for those of you that want that download, want that resource, please just drop, drop a comment, send us uh, either an email, drop a message in the comments, I'll get it across to you and it really helps. It really helps deepen your sense of purpose, your awareness of purpose, your ability to live your purpose, the authenticity behind your purpose, everything behind it deepens when you ask the right questions because the questions guide your focus, the questions guide your conscious thinking. So these are powerful questions. It's not the be all and everything, it's not the be all and end all as well. It requires conscious reflection, it requires updating, evaluation, doing the work, overcoming all the challenges, lots of learning, lots of expansion, and everything as we know in the normal journey of personal development. This is just another one of those pieces of the puzzle. But when it comes together, when we have true awareness and true clarity around our purpose, ah, oh, it's like rocket fuel. It's rocket fuel. You, as I said, it's like taking your car and you're supercharging the engine. It's like, it's like doubling your horsepower and now you're jumping out of bed motivated, excited, alive, and everything you're doing from the moment you go to, moment you wake up to the moment you go to bed, now has a sense of purpose behind it. You now have an expression, you have a reason, a very, very special, unique reason why you're in this life. And I gotta tell you, it transforms your experience, it transforms your reality, and it's the most powerful thing that exists in this world other than the direct connection to your infinite self your purpose is an overlaid experience that goes over the top of that, which really just supercharges, not just, it incredibly supercharges and transforms your experience of reality. So, and that's something that I wish for every single human being in this world to experience, is to be truly deeply tapped in and connected to their purpose, because I believe everyone here, including you, you have all very, very special purposes. You have a very, very special part to play in this reality, in the lives of people that need you, that need your gift, as well as you being able to be your authentic sovereign expression in this life and get to experience what your spirit wanted to experience by coming into this reality in the first place. So I thank you guys for tuning in. I trust that was valuable. I trust you got some good aha moments and some lessons. And as I said, please drop a comment in if you'd like me to send you that worksheet and I'll send it across to you to help you guys out. So that's it for another Transformation Tuesday. I love you guys. As always, thanks for tuning in and stay tuned next week. We've got some more gold coming up and yeah, wishing you guys a beautiful week. Thanks for tuning in. See you, Rod. See you, Mike. See you guys again soon. Happy Tuesday.